Hey Bulls, I'm Jeremiah Stillman and welcome back to Bulls TV. I'm currently at Nevada State University and we'll talk more about that towards the end. But let's go to Kahari to see more information. Thanks Jeremiah, I hope you're having a great time there. Well, let's start. This is Bulls TV. Okay, let's go. Hey Bulls, time is ticking. Quarter one is almost over. Let's send it to Bree for more information. Attention all Bulls, the quarter is ending exactly a week from now. Let's see what advice Mr. Worthington has to end off first quarter strong. Some advice I have for students ending this quarter. Um, one of the biggest things is focus on what's due now. Worry about your missing work once all that's done. Whatever credit was getting knocked off for something missing is already gone. You need to focus on what's happening right now. Because chances are you're going to have a test at the ending this quarter. And what is that test going to be on? Stuff that's happening now. Stay in the present. It's the most important tip I can give you. It's never too late to do better. Just because you did bad on this quarter doesn't mean you can start off next quarter better. Good luck, Bulls. Make sure to get those assignments turned in before the 11th. This is Bree signing off. Thanks, Bree. Now, attention all seniors. Next Tuesday, October 8th, is the Proud Parent Rally, where you can get measured for your cap and gown. Let's send it over to Lonnie for more information. Hey, Bulls. As you may or may not know, the Proud Parent Rally is coming up. The Proud Parent Rally is when seniors get sized for caps and gowns, parents can attend, and it will be in SLAM's High School Building, NPR, on Tuesday, October 8th. Thank you Project 150 for partnering with SLAM to help support seniors with the rental of their caps and gowns. If you are in need of help with your cap and gown, contact Ms. Monique at 702-437-5735, extension 2301, or by emailing her at moniquesouls at slamv.org by January 15th. Hope to see you seniors at Proud Parent Rally. This is Leilani Ennis reporting for Bulls TV. All right, Bulls. Fall Festival is literally next week. Let's send it over to Jay to see what we can do to get tickets and enjoy the best school event of the year. Hey Bulls, it's Jay. Welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be covering everything Fall Festival related. So I'm going to be making this time. Let's get straight into it. All right, Bulls. If you didn't know, Fall Festival is just around the corner, being next Friday, October 11th on our day off. Now here with me today, I have Mr. Ben Sewell, our assistant principal, who will be going over everything related to the Fall Festival, including the tickets and some of the donations you guys can make to help us out. Let's see what he has to say. All right, Slam, we are Fall Festivals coming up next Friday, October 11th from 4 to 7 p.m. Now you can buy tickets at the door. Our entry wristbands are gonna cost $5, cheaper than last year, and game tickets are still gonna be a dollar. But, come here, come closer. See this QR code? These are plastered all around the school, man. You scan that code, get your pre-sale. The intro wristbands are gonna only be $4, so you're saving a dollar. You can also buy family pack tickets, which include four wristbands and 40 tickets for $50. That's a steal, and you gotta do that before the fall festival. All right, so at our fall festival, we're gonna have 28 different booths, games, and activities. But we can't do that without your generosity. We need candy for all 28 of those booths, including our trunk or treat. So if you guys can donate bags of candy, we also need some small Gatorade bottles and bottles of water. If you donate, you're gonna receive some free tickets. Gatorade and candy will get you five tickets. A case of bottled water is gonna get you three tickets. We need that as soon as possible. We can't do it without you. All right, Bulls, let's start up for today. Now you guys know all about everything Fall Festival related. Hope to see you guys here next week. And other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. This is Jay Cogguido signing off for Bulls TV. Should stay safe and go Bulls. All right, guys, we'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Previously, Coach Weezy hosted a 3v3 basketball tournament. Let's go see what she has in store for this year. All right, Bulls, well, it's going to be for the girls basketball program, and we were going to do the 3 on 3 basketball kind of like tournament but we decided to kind of change it to a spike ball kind of event not tournament unless we have a lot of buy-in so if you have more buy-in then i'll make it a tournament style but right now we're just going to enjoy it we're going to do like kind of like a blackout you know spike ball you know little event so our booth is going to be basically spike ball and if we get more buy-in then i'll make it a tournament style but we're just looking to have a good time enjoy the fall fest because you know we want you guys to enjoy our booth make sure to stop by and even play a game Hope to see you there, Bulls. 
Here's Johnny. That's right, The Shining. Yeah, so just erase this from your memory. Instead of The Shining, this year's Haunted Hallway will be in the theme of... Please just let us purge. You heard the man, The Purge. Make sure you purchase your tickets and come check out the Haunted Hallway. Now, let's head back to the studio. All right, guys, y'all know what time it is. Sports! What's poppin' bulls? It's your boy, Gabriel Delgado. And it's the weekly sports segment. So this week, let's jump straight into next week's schedule. This week's schedule is a lot more intense than last week's. Girls soccer, boys soccer, and boys tackle football all play one game. Girls volleyball have three games, and cross country have their meet. All right, as we know, Thanksgiving is right around the corner, which means playoffs are right around the corner, and our teams look playoff ready. However, it's important to stay at our tip-top shape and stay healthy. Here's Miss Rex for more. Hey Bulls, this is Miss Rex, and here are a few tips to make sure you stay healthy for the playoff season. First, you want to eat some nutrient-dense foods so your body is getting what it needs to perform all the techniques you need on the field or the court. Second, you want to stay hydrated, making sure your body is getting what it needs, especially electrolytes as well. Third, make sure you're getting enough sleep. Put those phones away so your body can rest and recover. And fourth, if you're feeling sore, tight, Make sure that you are using a massage gun, you're rolling out, or you're stretching in order to keep your body nice and loose so, again, you can perform at the optimal level. That's all the time the boy has for today. Gabriel Delgado from Bulls TV, signing out. Thanks, Gabe. Now let's head to another commercial break. Welcome back, Bulls. My name is Isaac, and here is next week's lunch menu. So for Monday, we have hamburgers with oven-baked fries. And following up on that on Tuesday, we have chicken bites with mashed potatoes and pretzel crackers. And on Wednesday, we have Mexican chicken salad with romaine lettuce and pop tilts. Then on Thursday, we have queso blanco chicken bowl with rice and pinto beans. Then on Friday, we have no lunch because it's staff development day. That's my offer today, Bulls. My name is Isaac, signing out for Bulls TV, and go Bulls. Welcome back, Bulls. My name is Isaac. As you guys know, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, meaning that Sports Med is going to be selling some new merch during this time of month. Here's Miss Rex with more information on it. Hey, Bulls. This is Miss Rex coming at you with the Breast Cancer Apparel this month. We are selling last year's merchandise. We have our dry fit black shirts. This year's in limited sizes, $10 to you for 20 bucks. Also, keep in mind that we do have a new design coming out, so we'll update with you with that when we can. Yeah. <laughs> That's all for today, Bulls. My name is Isaac Rincon, signing out for Bulls TV. Isn't it supposed to be fall? Why are the temperatures still high? What's going on, Thomas? Yes, Kahari, although October is here, we're not seeing those typical fall temperatures we're usually seeing around this time of year. So let's go see what that weather's good looking like. Golden trees, golden leaves. Starting off next week with the hottest day of the entire week with a high of 101 degrees and a low of 72. Starting off our slow decline into cooler temperatures, we're looking at 98 degrees as a high and 70 degrees as a low on Tuesday. Continuing the decline with a high of 97 and a low of 68 on Wednesday. And with the temperature still cooling down and on Thursday as a high of 95 and a low of 67. And to finish off the week on the coolest day of the week with a high of 94 and a low of 67. Well, Bulls, although these, these aren't the fall temperatures we're looking for, it's the ones that we got right now. So let's just stick it out until it gets colder. I'm your weatherman, Thomas Laney, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Thomas. Since Jeremiah is not currently with us, our next episode of Are You Smarter Than Jay Money will air next week. So Connor is here with us today to share more details about the trip to NSU.
NSU stands for Nevada State University. Video production and sports medicine have the amazing opportunity to go and learn about some of the things that they offer there. While there, we also had the opportunity to interact with some of the students on campus. Let's see what they think about NSU. My experiences, they have been pretty great. I'm a freshman here, so I'm not really, you know, no, like I don't really know everything, but mm -hmm. so far my experiences, it's been great. I love how small the campus is because you know I get to have time to speak with my instructors, or I mean it's just really easy to navigate compared to like you know you know we have to walk like have a lot to one campus to another. All right, it was interesting to hear from the students, but now let's hear a little bit from the admin and see what they do. So um, I work multiple departments, anywhere from career services center to office of student life to uh, student government, student conduct. So it's been really good um, just bouncing around within different events uh, that we do, helping students transition, talk to a career advisor as far as career pathways, and just uh, all around just like a good time over here at this uh, university. Smaller class sizes, a friendly interaction with your professors, and a warm classroom environment. Also a warm campus community. Stingers up. All right, Bulls. This is the end of the video. Meet Jeremiah Skillman reporting from NSU. Home of the Scorpions. Stingers up, baby. And if you ever get the chance to come on a CTE field trip to NSU, it's really recommended. But that's all we have for you today. Let's go to Kahari to see your ending. Thanks, Jeremiah. But for now, be smart, play fair, stay safe. See you guys next time. Perfect.